So here we have three lines of 10, or let's just say three tens and five units. So which number is represented here? Well, those three tens give us 30. And if you want to pause the video and count up how many of those little individual blocks we have in these three lines, you'll count 30. And those five units give us five. So here I'm using place value cards and I've placed my units card over my tens card because that gives us our number which is 35. Now with two digit numbers you can imagine you're adding how many tens you have and how many units you have. So the three in 35 tells us that we have three tens which gives us 30 and the five in 35 tells us that we also have five units. So when you add those numbers together, 30 plus five, you get the total 35. Now pause the video and tell me which number do we have here, which is represented here? Well, we can count our lines of 10 in multiples of 10 so we can count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units. And putting those together, that gives us the number 68. So if we break down the number 68, and this is sometimes called partitioning the number, so we can partition the number 68 into 60 plus 8. So the 6 in 68 doesn't really stand for 6, it stands for 6 tens, so it stands for 60. Now which number do we have here? Well, let's count up the tens and add the units. So counting in steps of 10, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, because we have eight lines of 10, so we have 80. And then I can see we have just one unit. So we have the number 81. And we can partition the number 81. So the 8 stands for 8 tens, which stands for 80. And the 1 just stands for 1. So we can partition the number 81. So 80 plus 1 is 81. 